while they were waiting for the responses to come back from the Twitter invitation that they had sent out, uh, this team decided to create their Google presentation. Now, um, all this is, is is you open it up, and it, it it isn't a fancy presentation system, but it's very useful. Um, you can start out, you create the uh, the title page. It's now possible to put in, say, who the population was for the research. And you'll notice that down here it doesn't say how many responses there are because we don't know how many responses will come out of this. Then we identify the research question. And that's the difference between personal and school communication. And here's the question. Which tools do stu students prefer for communicating for personal or school purposes? Now, based upon that, they went out and identified a number of tools and then created the survey questions. Name your top three preferred tools for uh, communicating for personal purposes. And the, these are the questions or the instructions that they gave for each of the uh, uh, each of the pages in the survey. And then finally, um, they identified some pages <coughs> that they opened up and left open so that they could be filled with information after the work was done. And we talk about what are the results for the personal communication, the school communication, the similarities and differences, and what's possible future research. Now, it's not a, a tough thing to go in and identify the themes. Um, let's go down. I must admit that I went through and found a theme ahead of time. And um, if we click on Trek, then that allows us uh, to go back and it can actually set these up. There's a variety of themes here and you can even import them if necessary. But it makes it just a little bit more exciting. So that's how you do it. You set everything up, and now it's time for us to wait for the information to, to return from the surveys, and then we'll take a look at the spreadsheet.